Next, Virginia Beach with a look at Hurricane Irene's aftermath. We're going to the ocean front and the Virginia Beach Fishing Pier. Today aside, David Culver shows us the damage from the ground. Where I'm now standing was once covered with water during the height of the storm. But as you can see, the sand is now showing and you can see a lot of tourists actually decided to come out and enjoy what turned out to be a pretty nice day following Hurricane Irene. But you can see Hurricane Irene did leave some damage behind these guys here, picking up some of the debris of some of the chairs that were kind of destroyed in the midst of that hurricane. But over here, the bigger destruction is what we saw at the Virginia Beach Fishing Pier. The lock is on the gate here at the Virginia Beach Fishing Pier. They are closed off because of what Irene did to this wood pier. You can see down there are a few guys working, trying to put together as many planks as they can. But already there's a gapping hole of about 5 to 10 feet, and it could be a while before this place reopens. As you can see, damage significant here to the fishing pier. But let's go check out Gromit Island. The playground seems to have escaped a lot of Irene's wrath. In fact, as you look around, you see it was full of families and kids today. So why did it escape the damage from Irene? Well, for the most part, it's that wall that they built, that sand dune wall that's about eight feet high, eight feet wide. It's still standing, but it seems to have also protected a lot of this playground. The only thing Irene did do, spread a little sand, but for the most part, doesn't seem to bother any of the families out here today. In Virginia Beach, I'm David Culver.